So this is going to be a revisit of one of my older tutorials, how to do a basic teleport using Udon for VRChat. The way we're going to set this up is by clicking on this door, and it will bring us over here to this point, and we have teleported to the other location. Now to set this up, you need a box collider to actually interact with it, but most importantly, we're going to need a Udon behavior. So in our folder, I'll do create VRChat Udon Udon Graph Program Asset, and I'm just going to call this teleport interact because we are going to teleport as soon as we interact with it. On this door that I have the collider on, we'll go add component udon behavior and we'll just drop the new udon behavior into that slot right there. We can press open udon graph and we can start editing it here. So the first thing that we're going to need is a position that we are going to teleport to. And we're going to have that through an empty object in our hierarchy called a transform. We'll do a variable of transform and I'll name this target. And in order for us to access it here in the inspector, I'm going to have to press this button here that says public. Once we've done that, we can hit compile and you'll see we have a new slot here that says target self transform. This is because it defaults to calling itself instead of something else in the scene. So we need to actually make that object. I'm going to right click on a doorway do create empty. I'm going to call this target and position this right over here where we want to actually teleport to with the blue arrow being forward using the local rotation up here. We can position this in such a way that we can actually rotate the player when we teleport as well. So on our door, I'm just going to drag target into this slot and go back to editing our graph. In our graph, we're going to teleport when we interact with the door. So we're going to need the interact event. I'm going to hit space to search and do interact. And anything that comes out of this node will happen when we click on the door. Since we want to teleport the player, we need a reference to that player. The player is stored inside of networking local player. And this is our reference for teleporting the player. We can drag out of here and do teleport to, and that is our easy way of teleporting the player around. We'll connect that to our interact, so this actually connects. Connect that to our interact, and I'll get a reference from our target up here. Drag out from this, and we'll do get position. And we don't want local position, we want world position. So just the word position. And we'll plug that into the teleport pause or the position we are teleporting to. And we'll do the same for rotation. So we'll get the non-local rotation and connect that in here as well. Hit compile and then that should work here in editor. So using SignMU, which I imported previously, we can just hit play and everything is going to compile, everything is going to set up. And then the scene will load up and we can actually test everything here in editor. Now that Unity is booted up, I can hit close and I can come up to our door and press it to teleport to the other side. So this works in game as well, but we need to be able to get back from over there. Normally we could just duplicate this door and rotate it, but I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to show off how you do this in Udon Sharp. So I'm going to delete the Udon behavior here and we're going to create a new U sharp script here in our folder. Now, if you don't have Udon sharp imported, you won't have this option. So go to the link in the description for the GitHub and you can import Udon sharp there. I'm going to call this teleport interact sharp so that I don't have two files with the same name. We have to wait and let Unity compile this new script so that we can start editing it. If we go to our door, I'll just drag the C sharp script onto it and hit convert to Udon behavior. This basically is the easy way of dragging the green one into it without needing to go add component Udon behavior and then putting it in. To edit it, just double click the C Sharp script and this will open in Visual Studio or whatever else you have. And once it's ready, we can start editing it. We don't need the start event, so I'll clear that. And the first thing that we need to set up in reference to that is our public transform variable named target. So we'll start out by just typing public transform target and semicolon to end the line. Since we are interacting with this script, the interact event is a VR chat event. So we need to call that through public override and we can just type interact and it should autofill. We don't need base.interact, so highlight and delete. And we're going to teleport the player by once again, grabbing the local player from networking. We do that by typing networking.localplayer and to teleport them, we do dot teleport to. This is a function, so we have a parenthesis at the end that we pass it the different values. We'll do target dot position 
and target.rotation and end the line with a semicolon. This allows us to once again teleport the local player to the position and rotation of this target. Control S to save, and if we go back into Unity, we let it compile now that things have changed, and we can actually just drag the target object into the slot again, and it should work perfectly fine. You can tell when it's done compiling when the spinning wheel down here goes away. We can drag target into our target slot here, and once again hit play to test it out in CyanMU. Now that it's loaded, I can run and click on the graph door, and it teleports us over here. And I can click on the Udon Sharp door as well, and it teleports us back over here. This works, of course, in VRChat as well. And that is the entire setup. So now you know how to do both graph and Udon Sharp teleporting for VRChat. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you again.